Hello everybody and welcome into my very first video here on YouTube. Um, I'm just making a little gameplay slash story time kind of thing here. Yeah, so we're just going to be playing some Bone Lab, telling a story. You know how it goes. Um, the game that's playing in the background today is Bone Lab. It's a VR game. And the story we're going to be telling today is the story of me getting absolutely cross-faded then a hoe and going to the motherfucking planetarium, right? It's a good time. I had a good little hoot and a holler. You know how it goes. So, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Um, if you do enjoy the video, maybe drop a little like, a little comment, and that kind of thing. Um, give me any suggestions you have. Uh, maybe subscribe for future content. Anyway, thanks, and uh, let's get right into the video. Okay, so this story took place about four or five days ago and it happened about four or so days after my birthday three four days you know so it all started where my friend sage she was planning like a nice little thing for my birthday which i was real excited about um so she hits me up and she's like okay we're gonna start chilling at like five ish you know and i didn't know what you're we doing but i was real excited either way so you know, the day goes on by, I'm doing my kind of things, waking up, getting ready. And then I get, um, I get a text that says she's on the way. So I get all my shit ready, get ready. She pulls up. I go and I get in the car. And it's her and two of my other friends. And we're doing, we're at like a little sesh. We roll back to her place. You know, we're just doing a little pregame. Taking some shots, smoking a little bit of weed. You know, just having a good time, having fun. Um, we're playing some video games. You know how it goes. And then I find out that we are going to the planetarium. And I was like, fuck yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I'm like, what are we doing? We're going to go see a Liquid Sky show. So it was this artist called Tipper. And Tipper was, um, Tipper's like a EDM kind of musician. And it was like a light show in the planetarium to his songs. It was absolutely crazy. And so we, um, we get going, you know, we're just having a good time, chilling out, taking some shots, getting fucked up. I swear, we pre-gamed the planetarium for like six hours. Just like taking shots, play, playing a little bit of Peggles, some video games, you know. Play some Skate, some Black Ops 3, or some Black Ops 2. You know you know how it goes. The, the good old classic fun. And yeah, so we're just chilling out, getting absolutely faded then a hoe. And then it, it comes time that is time to get ready to leave to go to the planetarium, you know? At this point, none of us are good to drive. Like, we are not in a drivable condition. We are not driving anywhere anytime soon. So, you know, we're getting ready. We roll up a nice little joint for, for right before we go in. You know, we each take a couple more shots. And then we're getting ready. We're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to do it, you know? And so we're going, and we get our shoes on, our jackets, we get nice and warm, and we start the about 10-minute trek to the uh, planetarium. So we're walking, and, you know, we're just doing our thing, having fun, chilling, enjoying the beautiful night sky and a nice winter night. You know, so we're walking. Um, we see some... Uh, what do you call them? Like the lacrosse boys. They're all playing lacrosse. We're cheering for them, having fun, making jokes. You know, I'm at, at this point already, I'm probably like five or more shots in at the evening, which I'm a pretty big guy, but, but you know, I was still pretty fucked up. I, drinking is pretty new to me. I haven't drank for a long time, but I quite enjoy it. <laughs> and so, you know, we take a couple of ribs and then we get going. We're walking. Enjoying the nice guy, making jokes, having fun. And then we are approaching the planetarium. And, you know, we're just we're just approaching there. And we decide to just, like, post up outside. Chill a little bit. Because we got there, like, ten minutes early. Our show didn't start quite yet. And so, you know, we were just doing it. And so we're chilling. Me and my friend Sage, we, we pull out the joint. We spark it up. We're just smoking it, you know, chiefing. Getting high as hell. I mean, if I'm being honest, I was definitely the most fucked up out of the group of the four people. I mean, it was my birthday celebration, you know? Kind of feel like it's my opportunity, my job to be the most fucked up in the room. It's my obligation, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, we're just having fun. I smoke like half this joint. No shit. I'm like high as fuck. 
fuck. And on top of all the shots and the bong rips I've been taking all day, I'm fucked up, man. I can, like, barely function. And then, so, you know, it, our show starts at 10. It's about 9.52 or something at this point. So we, we go on inside. We're, like, scouting out the area, seeing where we need to go in. We go use the bathroom, get some water. And I, I remember I'm just, like, so fucked up. And there's this little, like, you remember when you go to the museum as a kid and they'd have those things where you put the pennies or the quarter and, like, some change and then it goes around and around and around and around and around and it, it goes lower and lower and it makes that crazy sound. You know what I'm talking about? So they had one of those things at the planetarium and then they have like these little balls and me and my friends, we just kept putting them in and I'm just like so fucked up and I'm staring at it and it's mesmerizing and the sound is just like, I can feel it. It was such a unique experience. I swear, I, I stared at that thing for fucking... Uh, could have been an hour shit it's probably more like five minutes but you know who really knows and then so you know we're, we're having a good time hooting and hollering and then we decide to go walk over and get our spot in line and we were like i don't know fifth group in the line you know so like 10 people back or something and standing next to us as we're waiting like the 10 minutes to go get in there's like this thing on the wall it's like a sculpture and it has like these crazy patterns and like just touching it feels so strange and like i'm just looking at this thing and it's all trippy and like you know i, I just tripped like three nights before like i tripped way too I, I went crazy that that's a story for a different video but you know so i still have that like kind of residual feeling and then i'm all fucked up so i'm low-key getting like kind of visuals on this wall man and it was it was just really cool really entertaining and you know so we're just chatting it up and then all of a sudden it's time to go in so we walk up the lady scans our tickets we walk in there and we find a nice little spot to chill and let me tell you when i walked into this planetarium it was like an ethereal feeling like because it it's hard to describe it had like this pink like pink and blue with a little bit of green sky and had like all these stars and it was beautiful so we sit down and we're just chilling staring up at the screen for like i don't know you know that five ten minutes and then the guy comes out and he starts talking about you know if it gets too dark you get dizzy here's how you get out blah blah uh, i hope you enjoy it blah, blah. and you know he starts the show and I'm just like launched into space, man. I'm sitting there absolutely faded thin a hoe. I can like barely process what the hell is going on around me. And up on this dome above the ceiling, it was just like the most crazy intense like mushroom type visuals. And it was like a journey from starting from like, the, you know, Earth and going all the way out to the outside of the universe and it brought you back in and it had like all this beautiful music and it was just it was an absolutely crazy experience and so i'm just sitting there like high as a kite man absolutely in the sky just observing all these visuals have a good time it was awesome man. it was funny like five or ten groups of people got up and left and every one of them looked a little older so I guess the music was too hard for him or something. But, you know, it was a really good time. I, I enjoyed it. Um, one of the best birthday celebrations I had. But, you know, it approaches like 11 or so. The show wraps up. The guy's like, all right, thanks for coming, blah, blah, blah. Get home safe. And so we all leave. And we start the journey back to the, the chill spot, Sage's apartment. And so we're leaving and we're walking along, you know. We're looking at the nice guy all fucked up. We're just talking about how crazy of an experience that was. Like wh what we all thought it was and the way it worked. And it was so cool. And then we started talking about um, getting our own, you know. Like how much would it cost to build your own planetarium? What do you guys think? How much would it cost to build your own planetarium at home? Like a, like a you know, home theater sized planetarium. Half a million dollars? A little more? million maybe if you do it real nice i'm guessing you know around there but yeah anyway you know we're, we're walking we're talking we're having a good time before i know it boom we're, we're we're back at the chill spot we are back at the function 
and you know we're just chilling it's like 11 30 at this point i don't have to be home technically till two third till 2 30 um so i'm just i'm just you know hooting and hollering and we decide to play some pong now we played pong with water because you know we didn't want to spill alcohol all over the floor because none of us were functional per se but you know we're having a good time we're throwing some pong switching around teams having fun it, between every round we were taking a couple more shots i keep taking rips out the bong i took like between the time we got back from the planetarium and the time i went home i probably took like 10 more shots bro i'm not even joking i was absolutely faded and you know we're just having fun playing some pong and these shots start hitting me good I'm like, yo, we should like chill out, play some games or something, play some peg. So peggle is this game where it's like you shoot a ball and you like bouncing around and you like a, the map and you try to get all the oranges, if that makes any sense. It's like a what's a game similar? I, I don't know. It, it's a good game. Just look it up. Peggle is the shit when you're all fucked up. It doesn't get any better than peggle. You know, so we're chilling out. We're, we're relaxing, having a good time. And I'm sitting there and we're playing this game. And all of a sudden, it's like my vision just doesn't focus anymore. You, you know how you have like a, a main focal point in your vision? Or if you're trying, you can like focus on something? No, nah, not for me. I, I was so intoxicated that it, it just did not happen. I could not focus on anything. I literally could not focus in the slightest, like at all. I was just like geeking out, man. And we just, we keep playing Peggle for probably like 30 minutes. And it hits the point of the slump where I am just fully slumping, man. I'm like falling asleep. I am just like out cold, laying on her bed. They're playing games and I can like kind of hear what they're talking about. But none of it's registering in my brain. I'm just laying there like, I'm just keep thinking to myself. I'm like, man, I'm gone. I'm absolutely gone as hell. But I was having a good time, you know? So no complaints. We're just chilling, talking to my, my homie Riley. Um, we're just having a good time, you know, having fun, chilling. And then, you know, before I know it, it's like 1, honestly, it's like 2 a.m. before I even know it. And I get a call from my mom. And she's like, yo, when are you coming home? I'm like, oh, what What you mean? And she's like, it's almost 3 a.m. I'm like, what? I, look, I pick up my phone, I look, it's like 2.45 something. I'm like, shit, I said I'd be home at 2.30. This is not good. But I'm so blasted, I can't even see, man. And so I'm like, yo, Sage, can I get the motherfucking Pringles? She's like, yes, cop some Pringles. So I cop some Pringles, and I am munching on these bitches. Mmm, they're so good. Just having casual conversation with friends, chilling out, watching some Black Ops 2 on the TV. I'm just eating these Pringles. And let me tell you, I have never eaten Pringles that were slapping this hard. They were so fucking good. I, just, I swear, I ate the whole fucking tube. I just couldn't stop. It was like where it's at. Top tier Pringles. And I'm just laying there eating these Pringles. Before I know it, I'm fucking covered in Pringle crumbs. It's like 3.15 a.m. My homie Ryan, he's like, all right, it's about time. I got to head out, you know. Um, I got to go home. And I'm like, yo, I am way too fucked up to get to an Uber by myself. Could I, like, cop a joint Uber with you? And then, you know, have someone to help me get in the Uber? <laughs> You know what I mean? And he was like, yeah, for sure, bro. I got you. And so we call up the Uber. I put on my shoes, which I don't even really remember this part, but I assume I got my shoes on at some point. And so I get my shoes on. I get all my shit going. And then we're walking. And we're walking down her apartment building. We're, like, going through. And then, you know, we get to the door. And I step outside. You know, we we dab up the homies. We, we say peace out. Have a good night. You know, this and that. We, like, peace out. And then we dip. We straight dip out of there. And we walk out. We get in the Uber. It's like this chill dude. He, he's talking to us about things and different stuff. You know, we're just chatting it up with this guy, me and Ryan. 
Um, we're vibing out. And then before I even know it, we're at Ryan's house. R Ryan hops out the whip. I'm like, peace out, bro. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot. He goes inside. I'm like, bet we'll chill soon. This Uber driver and I are just whipping home. You know, we're, we're just driving home, having a good little time. We're chatting up. I'm looking out the window all fucked up. I can still barely focus on anything, but, you know, I'll be home in like 10, 15 minutes. So it's okay. And I, I'm heading home. You know, he pulls up. I'm like, all right, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Drive safe. Have a good one. You know, oh, sorry. Sm smack the mic. Don't know if you heard that. But I, I hop out the whip. And I like stumble my way up to my motherfucking, uh, some of my way up to the garage. And I'm standing there thinking as I, as my drunk ass is trying to figure out how the fuck to do this garage code. I'm sitting there thinking and I'm like, shit, man. So just like two nights before this, there were video footage of this guy was trying to break into our cars right outside our house. And as my drunk ass is like fidgeting with these numbers trying to get in the garage, all I can think of is like, yo, what if this homie pulls up right now with like the strap on him or something, you know? He's like, yo, fucking let me in. And it's like tweaking me out in my head. I'm like, shit, man, he's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. But you know, I was just fucking tweaking out. I get in the house, close the garage, take my shoes off, you know how it goes. I go, get, have a nice little shower, you know, calm down. Um, eat just a little, little bit of a snack. Cause other than the Pringles, I eat nothing all day. And, you know, my drunk ass was hungry, man. So I'm having a good time. And, you know, I decide, all right, time for bed. So I, I go out. I, you know, I smoke a little bit of weed, a little bit of gas, get a little high. I go and I lay down on my bed. And I close my eyes because it's like, you know, time for bed. And I'm laying there and I'm trying to go to sleep. And for the first, like, five minutes I'm laying there, totally fine. Just like normal laying down kind of shit, you know. But then, like, completely out of nowhere, I started getting, like, the most crazy close eye visuals. It was, like, it was fractal starting from a little point in my vision. And it just got bigger and bigger, and it started spinning so fast. And, you know, when you're drunk, laying in bed, like, trying to trying to go to sleep and shit, they, you can get those real, those uh, spins. Yeah, you can get those spins real bad. So I'm just like spinning. I'm just laying in my bed. I'm like, shit, man, I am spinning too much here. And so, you know, finally I stand up. I go, I get some water, splash a little cold water on my face. So it's like, all right, man, I got to go to bed. So I'm chilling out. And I finally I start feeling a little better. So I go to turn off all my lights, turn off my TV. I just lay in bed. And I'm like, all right, time for bed. I'm laying there. And before I know it, it's the next morning. And then, you know, next day I went camping with my dad. It was a nice little chill. We got some fire. It got a little windy at night, um, but it's fun. Yeah, so, yeah, that that was pretty much the whole story. Um, thank you for listening. That was the time I got absolutely faded at the motherfucking planetarium faded than a hoe at the motherfucking planetarium you know so good times you know how it goes well thank you guys very much for watching um that's about all i got for this story today um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the story, the gameplay, let me know what you enjoyed, what you didn't in the comments so I can make improvements here and there, you know, just casually getting better with each upload. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you like the content and want to see more content like in the future, feel free to drop a like, uh, subscribe, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, that was the story of the time I got absolutely faded at the motherfucking planetarium. You know how it goes. We had a good time. We had a good hoot, a good hauler, got absolutely fucked up, saw some crazy visuals. You know how it goes. Uh, we're going to be dropping more videos soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.